This mental health champion has overcome some amazing challenges to be the success that he is today. Christopher Worth was born with cerebral palsy and spent much of his childhood in the foster care system. As a young child, he struggled to even know who he really was. Up until the age of 11, I was, uh, um, you know, in a school that where I didn't learn how to read or write, right? They were more interested in, like, training me, even at that early age, to do some sort of um, valuable, but, you know, some sort of manual tasks or um, exercising, right? So people wrongly thought that I couldn't learn. Um, and I was in foster care, so I struggled, right, to sort of have my own identity. Chris also had a near-death experience when he was hit by a car, but he has never let these things define him or undermine his determination to succeed. We have to embrace who we are, right, even when we don't like parts of it all the time, right? And so, so that's been my, my journey has been one of a lot of pain, right? I, I was not treated well um, when I was younger, and that's why I was put into foster care. Um, um, so I've had a lot of struggle, but that, that struggle has become who I am. Chris has become a talented and powerful advocate with incredible insight. He spends his life empowering people with and without disabilities. He is masterful at identifying an individual's gifts, helping them find their voice, and then giving them the tools to advocate for themselves. Chris excels in his advocacy, uh, I think primarily because he has this personality that is almost magnetic. Folks are really drawn to Chris. Folks feel very um, comfortable with Chris. And they get the sense that he is sincere, because he is. He kind of wears his emotions right on his sleeve. Uh, and I think it really gets folks to open up and trust him. Uh, and I think that because of his deep understanding of organizing um, and social movements, he's really able to use those gifts and talents to turn despair that I think a lot of folks feel fear into hope um, and get folks to move to action. His fire and his energy he always busy with some kind of event or something and uh, I try to keep up with him. All right. Although Chris is a tireless worker, he uses his master's degree in fine arts to help him balance all of the demands. It sort of is my refueling point, right? So that when I'm feeling down and things don't seem to be working the way I want them to work in other parts of my life, I can go to that paintbrush and kind of find some resolution. Chris works for an organization called Paraquad as the organizing team manager. He also works with neighborhood groups like the Coalition for Truth in Independence and is co-founder of the St. Louis Self-Determination Collaborative, which is a group of 70 people representing 24 organizations that work to reach system-changing goals. The collaborative group really is allowing him to help mold and change other provider agencies and funders in our area. Uh, and because of that, Chris and I have gone and spoke at conferences both for Missouri and uh, a national conference that was held in St. Louis where providers across the state and the country are also learning about ways to really make sure that people with disabilities are at the table, even in a more committee collaborative type of setting to where they're the primary voice and they're the ones who are directing everything and moving towards us all changing the way we operate in our different silos and bubbles to really empower people with disabilities to take control of their life and their world. He's always been kind of a, a mentor uh, in community organizing for me, kind of showing me how to handle or approach different situations uh, that I might come across in the field, um, kind of letting me talk about it, and then running through some, possi uh, some possible fixes or 
ways to approach the, the problem. Uh, and he's really helped me grow like professionally a whole lot. Chris is always looking for ways to expand his knowledge and is currently working on a PhD. He is a living example of what can happen when you tap into the power that is inside each one of us. He really deserves it. He's such a hard worker. He is working constantly to make our community matter. And he, he doesn't see disability or age or gender. He sees all person and that makes him Chris, I would say, is a pretty radical guy. Like he, he is pushing this idea of folks with disabilities having a real life, which shouldn't be a radical idea, but it is. It is within the system we live in, within our country, and that causes him to be a champion for the disability community, which has had enormous impact across our area. And that's why Christopher Wirth is a mental health champion.